Anyway, All right. I'm going to start, start recording. I am also going to start recording. Should Dang be it. should be should be fine. Larry and Ludwig are almost dead, right? You could start recording, oh. right? <laughs> well, Larry's dead. Ludwig's like halfway there. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay. Anyways. Well, I mean, you guys need you guys need time to catch up to me, anyways, because I got a little too far ahead. Well, okay, the, the well, paper, well, I want. Here's the thing. I'm get, I, I probably like want to get to the paper crop, but I, I'm gonna get so demotivated after the paper crop battle because that shit is laggy. I'm gonna be like. All right, guys. Let me park out for the day after the paper crap battle. See you guys later. I win. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, like, I, I, I could have met. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, because I am. I'm just after the paper craft battle. You're like, bro. Bas you basically just did nothing this whole episode. Uh, now I'm level 25. Uh, okay, I'm 24. I okay. mean, I, I mean, I can afford. I can afford to lollygag. Yeah, you can. In fact, I'm gonna go. Why don't we just do that? Just, just. Just make that the bit. Jacob just lollygags this episode while me and Aaron actually catch up to it. Yeah, like I'll I'll, I'll put on I'll put on a mod that just makes Mario Luigi and Paper Mario like um do the Gangnam Reversal. style. Wait, no, do, huh? you, you yeah, get, yeah, you get I like can do some of those export challenges if you haven't already. Oh, here's uh, yeah, here's I like, say that. You can, like texture pack that will reverse it, so it'll make Mario and Luigi look like Paper, and when I make Paper Mario look like normal Mario. <laughs> that sounds funny, actually. Yeah, can you get that for me? I don't think that's a real mod, but that'd be really funny. Yeah, not yet. Not yet. Although well, someone has to make it. Someone should should make that. You know what they should you know what they should make next? They should make a mod for Mario and Luigi Brothership that turns all of the 3D characters 2D. My guy, the game hasn't even come out yet. You think people are concerned about modding it right now? They barely know how it yeah. works. Hey, uh, hey, yeah. I got, I got people. Seeing, seeing the amount of, of loot mods for SMT5 Vengeance, yes, that's absolutely what's on people's minds. Well, if you I still things, don't know what SMT is. Uh, Shin Megami Tensei. Bitch. Shin Megami Tensei. I don't Tensei. know what that is. It's um Persona. No, it what is, is not. Flying Persona. Stars? It's not Persona. <laughs> Think post-apocalyptic Japan, but like it has all the Persona, Persona. As demons, recruitable party members, and enemies. Well, Seb, here's the thing. Before before Persona, we had SMT, <laughs> and basically it's Persona. It we, ha we had just Megami Tensei. Oh yeah, the Shin part came later. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, Jacob, here's something to. Although, although although SMT didn't even come to the West until until Nocturne. Oh yeah. We, we still never got an official rele Western releases of SMT one, two, and F. I hate the boomerang. Oh, yeah, and the only reason why SMT3 sold well is because it had Dante in it. <laughs> Dante from the Devil May Cry series. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he was only added to the, to the Maniacs version. I mean, he, you can get him for DLC and the HG remaster, but it comes with Grido Kizanoa by default. Which is still good because we're never gonna fucking get, get another Grido game ever again. Damn it, hold on, I know who that is. My girlfriend, uh, my girlfriend sent me a weird Instagram was, uh, post. Re removed from from this, from the modern points of P5R, if, if that helps you. Yeah, so my girlfriend sent me like a weird um like Instagram post, and it was like some chick just dressed up as Rido Kuzunoha, and I was, she was like, "Oh, I bet you don't know who this is." And I'm like, "Wait, is that Rido Kuzunoha?" <laughs> and she she just sat there flabbergasted, just like, "Holy crap, you're a degenerate! Why am I dating you?" <laughs> <laughs> no, that would be my girlfriend. Really? <laughs> really? She seems no offense. To Actually, her, no, did no, she I, take, like... I take that back. She's also kind of a degenerate. I thought she was worse than you. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, no, she's not. I mean, based on based I, on I, I what I've cool. seen, well, she, she she's just more open about it. <laughs> Let's just say. <laughs> <laughs> because I, because I, some, because back in like, back in like 2020, I'd be just chilling in my VC and she'd be like talking about like dicks and stuff. Okay, maybe that's an exaggeration, oh. but you know what I mean. Not really. Honestly, I don't know either, but yeah. I, I just, I just remember her being more degenerate than Aaron. <laughs> Actually, wait, wait. Yeah, Aaron, no, really? I, I don't know. Aaron. Did, Did I skip hear when Jacob point? told you that once, when Jacob told that one story? Which Jacob, story? you know what I'm talking about, right? Which which one story are we talking about here? Here's the thing, it was a Honey Pop episode, not the second one, game, the first one, the one I played. And yeah. in one of the episodes, so in that game, one of the questions you can ask the girls are, Oh, hey, what's your cup size? <laughs> and I'm, I ask you one time, I'm like, man, I'm, I'm amazed these girls just answer the question and don't just immediately, like, give me the cold shoulder. And Jacob just admits that, like, a year or two ago, he just, like, 
just asked his girl, like, no balls, just went, oh, hey, how big are you? <laughs> <laughs> Let me I, I ought to ask that. Wait, what am I doing? I can ask for the picture. I mean, you gotta you got admit, I have the minute, ball. I At least have, I have the I balls. Have I thought we came to the conclusion you did it because she asked how big your dick was. Um, I mean, what? I'm not gonna answer that on stream. <laughs> but You answered it on stream last time. Oh, wait, that was did I? I have no idea what the, that was on stream. How many years ago was that? Um. I don't remember. Probably like two or three though. Oh no. Oh no. It was two. Oh no. Oh no. I forgot you have to play this weird ass mini game with Toadette. What mini game? I forgot. Where Toadette, to oh, right. Toadette oh, becomes a hostage. Are you progressing with the story, Jacob? I am progressing with the story because I have not found a big tail Goomba yet. Jacob, I told you, you're supposed to lollygag this episode, so that way we can catch up to where you are, and end the stream, and then everyone will live happily ever after. Oh, I'm... I wish it was that easy, but no, it's never that easy. I mean... Yeah. No, I mean you're part of the Jacob quivering. I, I know how I can lollygag. If I can beat Bowser's castle, I will um, fight one of the super bosses. So you're gonna, like, fight the juniors? Yes. It didn't take me very long. Uh, uh, like I, I, it took me like maybe like an hour to get to oh, get yeah, you, get past the paper actually, craft I battle. You actually want to do sweat damage to the juniors so they don't keep reviving each other. Yeah, I uh, learned I learned that the hard way. I thought way. it was only the paper. I thought the paper one was the medic. No, they're both I medics. Think they can both do it. I think it, I think it's similar for the for the Cody's as well. Yes, the Cody's. Oh, yeah. Actually, I don't remember the Cody's healing. They only heal if he they die. Yeah. No, I think they can heal just like, cause like, fuck it, just like. They just, oh, they, hey, they, friend... they, they just heal because they're assholes. Yeah, pretty much. Correct me if I'm wrong. Isn't like the Cody fight even harder than the final boss fight? Um. Uh, Cody was pretty fucking say. difficult. Hard to say. I fought. I've had enough I practice fighting him on my three years. Like, here's the thing. I think they're hard because like their attacks are just annoying, and also because they get like three attacks in a row. And no. then she pisses you off, like, yo, no, when do I... Th that's an exaggeration. Attack <laughs> takes, like, two fucking minutes. Another thing, Wait, um, what? they take away your stuff, they take... Why the fuck? Oh, what? what? To to Toadette to got captured? What the fuck? Oh, I remember the minute you talking about. Wait, I actually was too slow, okay. I thought, I thought, like, you just have to get to the end of the room. I thought, I didn't know there was a time limit, jeez. When did it show the big red fuck you timer saying, Oh, hey, Ashley, you gotta do it quick. Ooh, a level two. There is no timer, that's the thing. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> I, I got to the very end of the room and said, like, Oh, the fly guy got away. It's like, what the fuck, man? I didn't have to do this whole shit again. Alright. Fuck. <laughs> I jumped away. How far into Bowser's castle do you have to go to get to the paper craft? I say like halfway. Well, I, ju okay. I just did the paper plane tutorial, so. Yeah, just, like like well, like I... you do like you do the paper plane shit. You go through like a few rooms, and then you fight the paper craft at the start, and then then you got to do a few more rooms where you got to save Toadette. Great. And, and then hey, you do Jacob. a few more rooms, and then you fight the juniors. I'm assuming. What? Hey Jacob, guess who's a dumb motherfucker? No, I think you? the juniors you actually they actually no, run away no, from you. You have to ba you have to backtrack them to play an another mini game. Oh god. Then you, then you have to go back to the boss room, then fight them. Yes, it is kind of annoying. What? Guess who forgot to record? Uh, it's okay. You can record now. <laughs> <laughs> guess who's a dumbass who forgot to open their OBS program and click the record button? Well, just, just do it now. You're, you're 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 not too far in, so you still got time. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> okay, Cody. Um, down, we're gonna start sucking the Lord's grace. Oh, I did it! I got I caught up to the fly guy. All right, click the start recording button. Uh, put it in my taskbar, and now my game runs like shit. Uh oh. Well, oh, been around you, need to, you need to close all necessary tabs. Yeah, I don't have memory literally leaks like Aaron. Two, literally the only two tabs I have open are Citra and OBS. I have nothing else 
it's possibly yeah, open. Yeah, I have Stitcher, OBS, and Discord. That's it, too. And my I'm using Discord fine. on my phone, even though the UI is, like, terrible. Oh, oh God. True. I'm so sorry for you. I love- I like how I, you see the flaming orbs in the back, and you just know that you need them later. You know what I'm talking about, right, Jacob? Um, flaming orbs? There's like these like floating flaming orbs that Bowser has in his castle, and you and you need them later oh, yeah, in the game. Oh yeah, like the fucking Minecraft or shit. Yeah. Oh. I think. Yeah, no, you need those bad boys later. Oh, thanks for thanks for the heal, fly guy. <laughs> I didn't know he could do that. That's nice of him. Oh man, it is I so nice having ten. The only it's gonna be so I nice when I have ten copies. Oh. Um. I think it's like one of the only games where you see like like the fly guys before you see normal shy guys. Yeah, leaf rank, I baby. Team, I don't think we actually have seen normal shy guys yet. No, you don't encounter well, them until Mount Burr, as far as I know. Oh, All right. Yeah, no, you don't. And then you see them again in Neil Bowser Castle, where they decided, oh, I'm too late, bro. Let me just grab some chain chomps real quick. <laughs> Let me have some chain chomps. I mean, it's, it's a way to get new enemies, so we won't complain. Yeah, and the one thing that sucks is that you have to kill the chain chomp to get a good piece of gear. Not the shy guy, the chain chomp, oh. which has a crap ton of armor, and you can't just run away after you kill it, because once you kill it, the other chain chomp pussies out, and then you win the fight. That is really stupid. <laughs> Do you at least get a ton of VXP for killing the ch chomp? I don't remember. I've been, for, I've been farming a piece of gear for like two weeks and I gave up. You could at least say something different once in a while. <laughs> That's a good line of dialogue. Who Mario save that? me, Mario save me, Mario save me, and then Blowjob Jr. is like, Hey, you can say something different, you know. <laughs> Wait, listen, man. Like, can you at least be better at being kidnapped, please? Also, you. also, it's kind of weird because the paper, like the paper cutouts, are the sticker star peach, but the paper peach that I have from my texture pack is the TTYD it's peach. Not TTYD. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, the TTYD boomerang guys look cool. So they do. I love the gray. The gray looks really cool. It kind of makes the boomerang bros look a little more distinct than just blue hit boomerang bro and paper blue boomerang bro. Yeah. I mean, the hammer oh. are pretty distinct, too, I Oh, guess. boy, I can't wait to go and yeah. get the missable beans that are in this location. Uh, can I even check how many of them I have? Beans. No, it doesn't keep track of how many you have in Bower's Castle. But according to the wiki, there's like 12, well, I think. It's, pr it's probably because you can't actually get them if you miss them. Exactly. But you can get the ones in Neo Bowser Castle. Well, yeah, because you can always revisit there. Oh, my God, Bowser has teeth! Yeah, I thought he has... said he has tits. I mean, that's super, that was two ga that was like three games ago. <laughs> that was four games ago. Oh yeah, you're right, four games ago. Damn. Yeah, three and a half. Three and a half games ago. Oh, three. Wait, what do you mean three and a half? I don't know, we're like halfway through Paper Jam? I mean, I mean, what, to be fair, it is at the end of Superstar Saga. It's like well, halfway I don't know. through like, the game. The hell does... Okay, halfway. Well, it doesn't, doesn't like... Well, doesn't like, uh, Capulet enter Bowser's body, like, halfway through that game? Yeah. Well, okay, in the timeline, that, yes, it's halfway through the game, but we don't actually see what they look like until, like, after you, like... Oh, wait, no, wait, I'm pretty when sure... When do you see what Bowser looks like? Time. Um, you see I'm, it I'm at I Little Funga Town. Peeps in Little Funga Town. I know it's Little Funga Town, but now my brain's like, when the hell is Little Funga Town in the story? That's like 60, 70% uh, through the airport. game. It's, a, it's, after, it's after the airport. Because you go to the airport, then then you uh, then you have to go to Teehee Valley, and then you go to Little Funga Town. Oh yeah, guess what guys? I just found a big tail Goomba. <laughs> nice. One of one of the two most random enemies they put in this game, which the other being those weird ant people. The ant troopers, okay. yeah. The, the weird thing is, they actually, they actually put them in in the uh, side modes in the remakes too. Well, keep in mind the big tail goombas are also in Dream Team, so they're not that random anymore. I still uh, don't remember yeah. them being in Dream Team. They are. They're in Bower's Castle. Ah, that that explains it. Because they're like I really fucking late in the game. 
you know, can I point out? I feel Aww. like in Dream Team, it was like really jarring for, that you'd see like just like random enemies. Like you'd see the weird rock boombas, the weird giant sand thingies, those uh, those wakeport guys. That's what I love about Dream Team. Pass, and, but then you go to Bowser's castle and it's just like there's a hammer bro, and you're like, oh my god, there's normal things here. At least until the Dream World. Because then you get all those Antasma robots, shit. Oh wow, I'm, mess well, I'm messing one. up this attack really badly. Dream Team is probably the only game in all of Mario that has Goombas in, in like, halfway through the game. I love that. Aren't they in like, aren't they in like, um, like... The beach area, they're in the beach. But here's the thing, you don't fight them traditionally. The way you fight them is when a <laughs> yeah. fly... Oh yeah, the fly guys, guys drop them. <laughs> yeah, the fly guys drop them, and then that's just how it happens. And it's like, oh, okay, cool. That is so funny. It works, it works. They're like level... Oh. And they're like level... Jesus. Hot. They're, like, they're like somewhat competent level. And you're like, oh my god, if they're not level one... That's <laughs> They're not level one? I love how the... I love how the Grombas are like harder enemy. Or like, they're like the easy enemies of the game. Kinda like how this Wait, in this game that's because it's technically not in the Mushroom Kingdom. Kinda like how Wait, in this, this game the, the uh, take... paper Goombas are the easy ones. The... You know what's like weird? Isn't this like the only game that takes place in the Mushroom Kingdom? No. Parish and Time and Bowser's Inside yeah, Story do as well. It's not, it's not the present Mushroom Kingdom, it's mostly the past though. Okay, well Parish and Time, it's what do you think? Parish and Time? It's like the like you said, it's the past Mushroom Kingdom. And then Bowser's inside are, I don't know what's wrong, but like those are not Mushroom Kingdom enemies. None of that. Oh wait, like, Bowser, no. That's Inside Story is technically in the Mushroom Kingdom, too. Yeah, but why do we never see any of those things again? Like where 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 are the big tree people when Mario and Luigi visit? Don't know. They they all died because of global warming. That's my head cannon. That is the whole worst type of thing I've ever heard, Aaron. Get a better one. Well, do you know? You got any other ideas? I'd love to hear them. Deforestation. What? <laughs> Guys, this this paper, this 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 big tail Goomba suit, um card is gonna be really annoying because he attacks like fucking three times before he finishes his damn turn. <laughs> oh man. Oh well, you should really farm them while you're here because you can get a really good piece of gear for them. Hmm. Oh, good, good. Keep tagging Paper Mario. Okay, cool. Mario's level 24. I mean, I don't know. I'll give it, I'll, I'll give this like maybe 15 minutes, and if I can't get in 15 minutes, I'll probably just stop. <laughs> Wait, just stop playing the game? No, just stop the. Big tail Goomba guard. <laughs> well, you should farm him for like uh, the, that gear piece I told you about. I forgot what it's called, but you, you'll know when to get it. Mm, I don't know what the odds of it are though. Whatever, just like quickly kill him, bro. They're not like harder than these to kill, are they? I don't know. Wait, he has a different attack. You could have used that attack instead of just jumping on me 20 times. Bro, I got my, I got my first one out of the X. <laughs> okay, finally, the, the the big tail of Goomba is using a slightly different attack. Congratulations. Hooray. Oh, okay, he, he spun for a long time there. Okay, that's not too bad. I can vibe with that attack, honestly. Oh, right. Uh, I feel like I was gonna talk about something, but I forgot. Mm -hmm. more. I mean, a lot of these <laughs> conversations, I just started uh, randomly, like, one of us saying something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. pretty much. For, like, mm -hmm. we can have a conversation mm -hmm. starting with, like, Aaron has a foot fetish, and that leads into a conversation about how Nazis are bad. Yes. I mean, that's not, uh, that's not the are. kind of conversation I want to have on YouTube, though. Wow, well, well, you literally fight Hitler in, in Persona 2. I, I don't know why this is a discussion at all. <laughs> oh, sorry, are, we just gonna, are you just gonna accept the fact that I said you had a foot fetish? What? Oh, I got the paper from Iron Dog. I'm okay. not even trying. Okay, he's just gonna, okay, folks, he's just gonna accept it. <laughs> he just accepts it. 
Melted, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Aaron has a foot fetish. Put that in your books. No, I fucking Keep... don't. Okay, but Jacob does. <laughs> I mean, I know. Nah, I mean, I already know about that, though. Wait, you do? Yeah, I thought you knew. Aaron's <laughs> fucking. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh. Yeah. Why did I just like lose so much respect for you randomly? <laughs> Random <laughs> loss of respect. I just lost so much respect for you. Why? I don't have that much respect for you guys, honestly. Like, I, I get you slightly more respect than the average person, but Aww. you don't give the average person a lot of respect. <laughs> you get, you get, uh. the, you get, you get the little ounces of respect I have left. <laughs> you get Basically. the little tiny shit that I call my respect for you guys. All right, just gotta, just gotta practice big tail, Goomba. And I love how when he we finish his attacking, Honestly, he just gets dizzy. It's kind of funny. Do you know another enemy that I feel like is random for this game? What? what? Those fucking the mouse, the mouse people in the dungeon. Oh, the security rats. Yeah, I mean they do. Sort of appear in the first air area, I think. In like the intro cutscene, when Luigi's taking out the book. Yeah, but that's a normal one. That's not a paper one. I find it weird that they, I find it weird out. that they bothered making sprites for the normal one, and yet you don't fight it. Yeah, like they just had it in the castle, but then they're like, "No, nah, let's make like paper versions." Ooh, that makes more sense. Paper scaredy rats. Ooh. Are there are there even any paper versions outside Superstar? I thought um, they were only in Sticker Star. They're only- I mean, I think they're, might, they might be in Origami King. I could be wrong, though. Yeah, but Origami uh, King- I might have to go back to that. Because Origami King has a lot of- like, Origami King brought back the fucking sidesteppers from Mario Bros. Arcade. <laughs> Wait, that would be a, a weird oh, enemy to bring did. back. What? Remember those, uh, what do they call it? The, the, the things in Mario U. You know, you know in World 6, you know, the Rocky World, there's two mini castles, and in the second one you fight this weird, like, sumo oh, thing that's stomped. Oh yeah, those guys haven't yeah, been- yeah. those guys haven't been around since, uh, Mario World. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yeah, Mario, Big Tail Goomba Dodge. Well, no, they, they are in, in Mario U, and at the World 6 mini boss. Yeah, they're in World 6 mini boss. They literally show up in that one level, and then you never think or see about them again. Yeah, and they haven't been in any other Mario games, as far as I know. They're not even in the Mario and Luigi series. I actually wait, no, they're in Origami King. <laughs> I just remembered. Well, guys, I spent my like five to ten minutes getting the big tail Goomba dodge. So now I'm go good. get the gear, Jacob. <laughs> go get the gear. All right, let's see. What do I want to get for Luigi? Um. Yeah. Honestly, there's not a lot I want to get on Luigi. Like, I could get counterer. Boost your counter I damage. I got modest trio. What? I don't know what modest yeah, what? trio is. I'd love that. Modest trio. What, that I just get random achievements without doing anything? You know what I wish I could do? I wish I could, like, pass on an upgrade and just give it on the next level up. Because I don't want any of these, honestly. <laughs> Fine, I'll get counter. I'll get counter damage up. Because I'm going to be countering a lot. I know that. Fuck. Because I already gave, all, Bro, the, I already I gave all the good grub upgrades to Mario. So on Mario, I have to the two gear slots, power up and speed up. So Mario's... See, this is why I'm against... This is why I'm, I'm against Jam doing paper. the power up, HP up. Those ones I hate doing because it's a one and done. Like, once you give it to Mario, it's like, oh, I can't give it to Luigi. So now, okay, yeah. randomly, Mario's just gonna have a buttload of power, and Luigi's gonna sit here doing jack shit. You're not gonna want to attack with Luigi, and blah blah blah. I get it. Like the reason I did it, it, the reason I gave both of them to Mario is because Mario is gonna move first in battle regardless. So if I give him speed up, yeah. plus it basically guarantees that Mario is always gonna get the first attack in battle, and I can just set up on the first time before the bur before the boss moves, basically. That, that's actually kind of smart. No, this I is, might do that. This I isn't Luigi that, racism. Uh, I'll have to check the rank up bonuses. Well, and here's what I gave Luigi. I gave him star point max plus 10 early on, and I also gave him counterer. So now Luigi does double counter damage. He has, hmm. and we also have 10 I extra star do, points. I might actually do that for all my bros. 
Yeah, and Paper Mario hasn't upgraded yet, but I have Copy Max plus two on him right now, because obviously that's the good one to get. Yes. Thank you. As, I, as I've learned from Seb. Copy Max. I get, I'm gonna go for Copy hey, Max on Star Rank too when I get it. No, no, I think the next rank up after Leaf, you got Leaf. You're on, you're on Leaf right now, right? I'm on Leaf rank, yeah. So I'm pretty sure it's so, Star Rank next. And then Rainbow Rank. Yeah. Isn't it Fire? Hmm? Fire? No, I think I think Flower is what I'm on right now. Yeah, we're all, we already did Flower. And I've done Boomerang oh. already. I think. Oh, wait, so I think it is. I think you're right. I think it is Star, and then it's just Rainbow. Because there's seven ranks in this game, and one of them is Rainbow. Well, Rainbow accounts for two upgrades. Oh, oh shite. Oh, yeah, yeah, because you get the plus one. Damn it, Linguini, why are you dizzy now? Stupid Dizzy is probably Google. my least favorite side effect. Well, not side effect, uh, yeah, I in the game. Because, because here's the thing, at least with Trip, you know that whenever it's their turn, they get up. And I think it's guaranteed if you get hit while you're Trip, you get up. If you get hit while you're Dizzy, there's like a 50% like a chance of just gonna be like, nah, wrong, stop, my brain still hurts. Yeah, I'm gonna give my... Oh, shit, I'm actually running out of refreshing herbs. I gotta be careful. Actually, you know what? Speaking of refreshing herbs, burn. You cannot use refreshing herb when your brother's burn. That is stupid. That is stupid. That is stupid. <laughs> that, that, that seems very counterintuitive. Yeah, I, that, I gotta go to Minecraft and grab a water bucket and make that an oh. item in this game. Oh, I got so excited. I thought I got the drop from the big tail gloom, but it was just an ultra candy. <laughs> Well, it has to be like, you know, the big one, not the tiny little pink package. It has to be the big green one. Yeah, I realized that a little too late. Also, I have the Dream Team Victory theme now. <laughs> instead, oh, of, nice. instead of the Paper Jam one. Wow. And that shit should be. You want that, you want that one? <laughs> yeah. Alright. I still... I, I feel like out of every game that you've played on the channel, I think the weirdest and rant and like stupidest one you play is Tamagotchi Life. What do you mean Tamagotchi Life is great? Tamagotchi Life is far from it's... the most random thing I've played. Bro, it is just a game. It is literally yeah, just Pitch talking Pitch Tom, Pitch but with like 50 plus is, characters. It's also pretty fucking random. Oh, how did I never get that block yeah. down there? Bro, literally Tamagotchi Life is just my talking Tom, but it's like 50 of them. <laughs> yeah, and it's nah, not, actually, and it's not a, and it's not a weird AI yes. cat. Oh yeah, I, I, my goal for Tomodachi Life was to get a hundred me's, but like, I don't know, I, I, I kind of running out of ideas for that game, honestly. Like, it gets really Just boring like, once you get like oh, 40 hey, me's. Oh, screw you guys. Screw you guys. Mm. Hmm, boom, I'm gonna keep fighting these boomerang bros, then I'm gonna... See if I can get a uh, big tail Goomba drop then. <gasps> Shiny Boomerang, bro. Wait, this isn't a Pokemon. Oh shite! <laughs> I messed up the action command again. Okay, I'm at the paper crap battle. Oh, that was fast. See, you're almost caught up to me already. I've been skipping some of the enemies. Oh, I'm yeah. almost there. The Neptunia Giant Battle music is gonna make this way better. I know, right? I know, it's gonna be somewhat terrible. I put in Smash Bros. too. So, Jacob, I'm gonna paint you a story, alright? Funny I story. I didn't know you could paint stories. Yeah, no, it's a funny story. It's a. Uh, I don't know why I have not told this story yet. Uh, I, it's a random day in school. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Here's the thing, though. So, <laughs> exactly what I wanted to hear. You going to the bathroom? <laughs> this is, I, I didn't. I didn't use the bathroom. This is starting to end me using the bathroom. Oh. So our, our, the way it works is that there's a bunch. There's like two stalls, and then there's a big stall at the back, and then mm -hmm. there's a urinal. But there's a bunch of floor space. I walk into the bathroom. The first thing I see is, and I cannot. A kid with you, just a bunch of people in the middle of a game game session. I'm having a hard time believing this what story. What bathroom is this? <laughs> what bathroom is this, honestly? This is damaging our neutral one. 
Like they have the boys one, the girls one, and then a gender neutral one. Oh, what I get? What I get? What I get? Shocking boots. Don't you get That's that from cool. beating? Don't you get that from beating the blowjob juniors? I don't know. Put I'm pretty them on. sure. I'll put them on because I, I, those are really good, actually. Yeah. Anyway, as I was uh, saying. I walk in and it's like I throw like seven dudes and I'm like, mm hmm. Will you, will you stay uh, on, Bill? Huh? Not you. Dry boner. Aw oh, shit. Paper Mario's now Lee Frank. You know, I always forget that for King Boo they just threw Lemmy and Morin on top of him. <laughs> Lemmy and Morin. That's so funny. Yeah. Not even Iggy, they couldn't even put Iggy in, even though he does nothing else in this game. He's probably the one making the paper crafts. No, I thought Kamek is the one who makes them. Well, I don't know then. You know what, I kind of like that headcanon, that Iggy made the paper crafts. <laughs> Isn't it, like, established that Kamek makes them all, like, from the first one? I mean, I know he I'm made- I'm pretty sure Iggy does, does the fucking designs, though. I know he made the Cody one. He made the Guma one, too. But I don't know about the other ones. And I think the blowjob- right. did, did, did the blowjob juniors make the papercraft one? Well, you never fucking well, know. I highly doubt they're smart enough to know how to build a papercraft. I feel like they just went, Damn it, Cody, go do it for me. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like- <laughs> Chef Peepy, -pee, Chef Peepy, -pee, can you make me a papercraft? <laughs> yeah, and then for the King Boo one, I feel like he just made it just as like a defense, just like, yeah, listen, it, this is the plan. It's very simple. You're gonna get on top of this King Boo I made, and you're gonna cock block the door. I mean, I mean, why King Boo specifically? Especially considering the fact that you fight King Boo later in the game as, like, himself. Yeah, well, here's a- here's a- actually, that's a good question. Why- why King Boo there, like... Yeah. <laughs> like, you, you, this is like, you don't even fight King Boo in the castle, you fight King Boo in the middle of a forest. Yeah, which I mean, like, I, don't, I don't know. I mean, that, that kind makes of makes sense. sense. It's like it's a haunted woods. Yeah, it's called Gloomy Woods. Gloomy Woods. Which, to be fair, I feel like with Gloomy Woods, you walk in the first time, you're like, why is it called Gloomy Woods? Nothing about this is gloomy. It's just a pair of woods. It's just some woods. Then you go to East Gloomy Woods, and you're like, oh, now it makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Aw, oh, I messed up the action command. Uh, I'm really loving these, uh, bro- this bros boots for Luigi. Wait, why don't we just play Gartic Phone for a bit? <laughs> Gartic Phone? Man, I haven't thought about Wait, that game even... in ages. Wait, that's not even an option game. what the hell? Weird. You need, like, 18 plus to play fucking Gartic Phone? Really? Uh, I'll be right back. the last Gumba. went to go jack off. Oh. Wait, Seb actually went to go jack off? What the hell? Seb, come back. Oh, okay. He just went into the fucking lava. Oh, there's more? There's more? Oh, wait. I don't know how to fucking... What? But you left the call. Why are they all dying off screen? Is it the fucking lava? I don't know. Okay, wait, so it says he's playing Gartic Phone now, but he left the call. It's weird. Join activity. Well, I thought he, he joined on his fucking phone. Wait, where is he doing it? <laughs> That's weird. Well, I hope he comes back. Hmm. <laughs> There's the peaches. Mario! All right, that's one down. It had to render in that book. Ah, oh, yes, it's the song of the Paper Jam speedrunners. Wait, what? What song? It's the. It's like that weird, like whimsical song that plays when like an enemy is on screen. Ah. I just know that I, I I associate that song with Paper Jam speed running because it plays like all the damn time. That's true. There it is, Luigi. I return after some experimentation. Yeah, what did you experiment with? 
Gartek phone. Yeah, but what did you do with it? <laughs> the fuck is Gartek phone? Put it to work. Well, well, um, Gartek phone is basically just like a Jackbox game that you can play for free. <laughs> That's pretty much That's what it is. Good. Do you like it? No, it's not stupid. I played it once, just not with any good people. <laughs> Because they were all we... they were they were all muted in the call. Why don't we play Gartic phone for a bit? See now that could be a fun idea. Although you need to catch up, Seb, so I don't know about that. <laughs> catch up with what? I can't do this Yoshi rhythm minigame. You need you need to you need to beat the papercraft battle. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm like I'm really in the middle of the fight. Well good. It looks like you're both on the on the in the middle of the fight. Actually, you know what? This gives me a good time to go take a piss break, so I'll let you guys do that fight. <laughs> Aaron, I'm still not letting go that you thought I was gay. What? I'm not letting go that you thought it was gay, bro. What do you mean? I'm, I'm doing the papercraft fight. No, you mean, I mean earlier. What? What about earlier? I can't fucking hear you. I'm not letting go of the fact you thought I was gay. You're so mad about that? I thought it was fucking obvious. Oh come on, we're still not at the at the giant the king boo. Oh, wait, 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 what do you mean you thought it was obvious? I thought it was obvious. Yeah, okay. Anyways, thanks to me, uh, well, not thanks to me, but thanks to us playing, uh, Paper Jam a bit earlier today, there might be a small chance I'll get to play Neptunia tonight. Which would be pretty nice. Oh. Have you actually played Mega Dimension on your channel yet? Yeah, I don't know if you've seen it or not. <laughs> I have not seen it. I didn't even know you did. It's on there. I've done, uh... I know you've done the Rebirth Trilogy. I did the Rebirth Trilogy, I did Mega Dimension, and I also did, uh, Sega did Hard Mega Girls. Hard Girls? Yeah. I, I haven't watched that play because I haven't played it, but... Yeah, basically I did, like, one Neptunia game every year, with the exception of Rebirth 1 and 2, where I did Rebirth 1 in summer, and then I did Rebirth 2 in, like, winter. So I did them, like, six months apart. And then once I did Rebirth 3, I started doing them every summer, basically. It's kind of a tradition. Kind of like how I used to do Wario Land every December, and then I moved it to January for some oh, reason. Is, 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 is Sega Hot Girls the one, you, the one you, did, you did this summer? Uh, last summer. This Wait, summer. So what are you doing for this summer? This summer, I'm doing the PS3 Neptunia. Ah. Oh. Well, good fucking luck. I hear it's uh, not as, as good. I hear it's mid, but I'm playing it anyways, because that's because just hearing something's mid is not going to stop me from playing it. <laughs> You have all the DLC downloaded, because there's like literally yeah. hundreds of dollars worth of DLC. I found all of the DLC in one little zip file, <laughs> so, yep, I think I have all of it. Don't ask how I got it. Because <laughs> I'm not yes, allowed to say to that. <laughs> also, it said die or something. He did. No, I'm, oh, no, you're, you're, I'm you're, very you're, much living. You're just focusing? I hate this Yoshi fight so much. I, I didn't hate it as much as I thought I would, but it is still pretty mid compared to the other ones. And, okay, and, okay. Unfortunately, I, I have to fight King Boo now. And unfortunately, it means I also have to play it for the fucking attack-a-thon. That's not gonna be fun either. Yeah, and you have to get an S-rank on it. That's even worse. Because here's the thing with the Yoshi one, with, with the reason the Yoshi one sucks is that all the other ones, except for Bowser, is that they're all just like a battle arena. Like, the exception is Bowser, which is like a linear progression, but that one makes sense because it's a boss push. Yeah. But then Yoshi, it's also linear. It's also a linear path that takes you to the boss fight. I'm like, why does it have to be linear, bro? Just make it a giant battlefield that you have exactly. to like, like yeah. make it a battlefield. Oh, what they could have done is that they Shut made it two separate. Mate. You could have made it like two separate battlefields, or you have to travel between them with a tongue, and yeah, you can do like teleport between them. That could have been cool. 
Cashback Global Job Jr. and Paper Blow Job Jr. But don't let any of the minions spot you. He's gonna fucking teleport. Wait, I gotta. Oh, oh, it's another stealth mission. Yeah, it's like my one Toad Wumbo with uh, Mecha Koopas. <laughs> I wanted to fight the Mecha Koopas, damn it. I wanted to get their, like, thing earlier. I and... forgot Mecha Koopas were in no, this game. No, Mecha Koopa. Sadly, Jacob, I hate to break it to you. Mecha Koopas are not so. Uh, Bowser's castle. Dang it. I mean, Neil, Neil, so Neil Bowser. Also, another thing. The Mecha Koopas, like, I forget they're in this game half the time. I, like, I uh, forget. forgot they were in this game as well. Are you that's, like, weird? Okay, I think you're bad now. I think this is, like... Here's the thing. The Mecha Koopas, I think they only make one other appearance in the Mario and Luigi series. And that is and randomly... It's in the Super in... Star Saga remake. I thought they were in, um... Well, I thought they were... They were just in... I think they're also they in Bellout Blowjob Jr. side mode as well. Oh, that's right. Well, that doesn't count, but... Wait, are they? I can't really they remember. Are. I don't remember. They might be in either of the side modes, but I don't fucking remember. Did we just bodied Bowser Jr.? You caught Wait, Bowser Jr. Not... That was like his paper Bowser Wait, but Jr. But are they not, like... Are they not, like, in just, like, normal one? Are they not just in the normal fucking game? No, they're not. So wait, what do you fight then in uh, Super Star Saga? Saga remake, remake. They replaced the uh, Mecha Dog. Oh, oh right, you're you're right. I forgot that they replaced the Mecha Chomps in the remake. My bad, I forgot about that. Wait, like, all so the, the remake? Why that one? So the remix came out after Paper Jam. Then that means Paper Jam is the first time you see Mecha Koopas in the whole Mario and Luigi series. I believe I, be, I believe so. Unless weird. unless they're in Dream Team and I forgot. Uh, they might be in Dreamy Bowser Castle. I don't. It feels like that would make sense for a Horn battle, but I think they might be honestly. You know, see, you know. No, no, no. Let me do, no, it. No, no. Let me do no, no, it. You I, need I to skip, you, like, you need to fight uh, the Dreamy Bowser Castle. Battle. Well, here's the thing. I'm, okay, I'm not seeing anything that says Mecha Koopas or also, I, I see the Mecha Dogs. Alright, dude. Alright. This god awful fight is finished. Let's Thank see. God. History. Alright, I'm almost and done. So I'm gonna. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking it up. Okay. Um, Mario Party. Rose they are, they are in. Okay, they are in Dream Team. And they are technically in Superstar Saga, just not in as an enemy. Because. What do you mean they're technically? Because a Mecha, the Mecha Koopas are in oh, Bowser's they are Castle. On the Koopa Cruiser, right? No, they're in oh, they they're in Bowser's castle. You know, you know that little like the little mecha koopa you have to shoot with water to oh, electrocute. Oh yeah, with the mini games. Yeah, I think I remember that. Yeah, so technically that means they are in Superstar Saga. Wait, but... Wait, oh, I already have the shocking boots on Mario. Show us what some of your BP when you deal damage. Those are also really good. The Bros boots are fucking fantastic. <laughs> I have them on Mario or Luigi. I have them on Luigi. What, what are you trying to say, Seb? Where are they in Dream Team? Where are the Mecha Koopas in Dream Team? Um, let me double check. Uh, yeah, Dreamy Neil Bowser Castle. So you're right. That's what I thought. But, uh, all right, here's my follow up question: Are they in the Dream World or are they just like in the normal castle? What do you think? It says Dreamy Neil Bowser Castle. <laughs> oh, funny that, ain't it? That's stupid. Oh, funny. <laughs> funny. I mean, I also like how they kept their gimmick throughout all the games of the center. It's just whenever you jump on them, they switch from being normal to being fucking wired. That's probably why they replaced the Mecha Chomps. Huh? Why? Because the Mecha Chomps have the same gimmick? You just jump on them and they become wired? Yeah, but I don't really know why they replaced the Mecha Chomps. Like, they had no reason to. Yeah. Because the Mecha... Because they... Because they realized... Huh. The Mecha Koopas have the same gimmick. But Mecha Chops are so oh, much cooler. God. Mecha Koopas look stupid. Well, here's the thing. Also, I don't mind the Mecha Koopa yeah. design. Like, like, I always thought they're like, oh, that's cool. I like that Bowser Jr. uses it for attack and smash plays. That's cool. I mean, I prefer... I mean, this might be a hot take, but I prefer how Mecha Koopas... Also, they just called Starlo a bee. <laughs> <laughs> I am not a bee. So first, so Morgana, Mor Morgana gets dealt with calling a cat, and Starlo gets dealt with calling being called a bee. 
Are you saying, Jacob? Anyways, um, I this might be a hot take, but I think Mega Koopas look cooler in Mario World. I hate how they look in Mario World. They look so stupid I, in that I game. I actually prefer the Mario World design. I hate how they look in that game. They look so stupid I in mean, that game. I mean, that is, that is their first appearance, so it makes sense they look a little weird. Then again, Bowser also looks weird in that game, so you know what? Never mind. <laughs> yeah. I mean, a lot of enemies look weird in that game. The Koopalings look hella weird. Oh, yeah, no, that's the also Koopalings true. Koopalings look especially weird in that game. I love how the like, Koopalings me... look in that game. Oh, correct me if I'm wrong. Isn't Ludwig, like, randomly just gold? Oh, yeah, he's got, he's, like, yellow and he has, like, gray hair. And then, like, yeah. and then, like, like what, well, Larry's green. Iggy's yeah, Iggy, blue. Iggy, Iggy has, the, has the wrong fucking, fucking hair. Ludwig's hair is, like, white. Roy yeah. is black. Like, Roy's shell is gray. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, no, no, no. We have Wendy okay, looks okay. Like normal, but she still looks really fucking weird. Lemmy's, okay, okay, Lemmy, Lemmy looks image. normal, too. I, I have an, I have an image here. So, Ludwig is brown with, I mean, Ludwig is yellow with, like, blonde hair. Z uh, Lemmy is, Lemmy is also yellow with white hair. Um... Roy is blue. Roy is like pure blue. Roy is blue? That's yes. weird. Yeah. He's like, he's like pure blue. Iggy's also pure blue. I think Morton is Do fairly normal. He's like brown. Iggy the wrong, the wrong, uh, no, 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 no. You, the wrong, they actually get like Iggy the wrong hair, hair though, because like if you look if you look at the if you look at the credit if you look at the credits, he has a different hairstyle in the credits than he does in game. Yeah. I think in okay, yeah. Also, Jacob, I hate to break it to you, form. but you're still wrong. So Why? Wendy, Wendy's the most normal, but she's like, here's the thing, she's not pink, she's like a very hot red, so she looks yeah. weird. Oh. I was gonna, she looks the worst, honestly. Like, you all say Wendy looks the most normal. I think Wendy looks like the worst in this game. <laughs> Damn. And then Morton is green. Morton is green. Wait, he what? is pure. Why is he green? Just I don't remember gray. that. I don't know, he is just pure green. And then Larry's also green. And then Larry has... Also, another thing, Larry is the only Koopling with colored eyes. All the other Koopling just have a black dot for their eyes or glasses. And Larry well, has black and green Iggy, eyes. Iggy makes sense, because the fucking glasses. Also, I like how they all, like, they all basically changed for uh, Mario Maker. Mm -hmm. Like, I know they had to. And, like, some of them they did change. Like, like alright, here, I'm gonna go through their... Uh, fuck! Their, let me go through their Mario Maker designs. <laughs> I'm gonna go through their fuck. <laughs> now the Mario Maker designs are re are relatively in line with with their uh, with their newer oh, yeah. designs. Well, some changes are made. So, for example, uh, Iggy is still blue, but now his hair yeah, is green. Yeah, he has blue hair, but he has the green mohawk, like he normally does. He has a green mohawk. Mornin is not Mornin is now gray. Also, I forgot to mention the Morn. Here's the thing with Morn and Roy, is that like the top half of their head, like where their eyes are, it's also colored. So they're like weird. green and blue. It so looks weird. Oh, I got the play three new battle cards thing again. Lemmy is yellow. I don't know why Lemmy's yellow. And then his hair is weird because his hair is three different colors. His hair is yellow, indigo, and pink. Are all? I think it's supposed all... to be like a rainbow mohawk kind of thing. And then Ludwig. Okay, Ludwig is probably the weirdest one. Like he's in weird. Sh he's on normal blue. He's like this weird bright shade of blue, and then he has blonde hair for some reason. <laughs> yeah, that, that is really strange. Like, here, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll put the image in the stream chat real quick. Oops. Here, you, you two can have a look for yourself when I put it yeah, in the screen Yeah, I'll have a look in a bit. Yeah. Roy Why is not. Awesome. He he, actually, here's another weird thing. Roy's sunglasses in the original game, they look like, they look like female sunglasses. <laughs> female sunglasses. Like, yes, the more iconic As sunglasses. Male ones. How, how do you determine a sunglass? How do you determine the genders of a sunglass? Like, that doesn't fucking make oh, sense. Oh shit, oh shit, yeah, I see what you mean now. Let me, let me put this up on the, the screen. Um, actually, I don't know if I can. Oh, hey. okay, well, yeah, I'll, I'll just look at it. So, yeah, um... I'll, I'll describe it as well, like Seb's been doing. So Iggy now has green hair for some reason. No, He's still I think blue. That actually, makes makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, but oh, now here's the Tanuki Gumbo you were talking about. Yeah, why did they bother changing the Koopaling designs? It's so weird. 
Morn is gray now. Bonk He's got a green. Lemmy is That's Lemmy's yellow and has like the rainbow hair, like you're saying. Now Ludwig has a light blue shell, and he's light blue with blonde hair still. Roy is just wait, Roy. Wait, wait, I, wait, wait, I have a question. Uh, was Ludwig always like Roy and uh, Morn, where the top half of his head is also the same color as the shell? Because the blue on his eyes looks uh, no, weird. I, think, I thought the top half of his head was normally green. Mm, let me let me look up Ludwig yeah. real quick. <laughs> Ludwig. Ludwig von Koopa. They gave me the fucking streamer. <laughs> yeah, you don't you wanna specify Von Koopa. Yeah, he's he's mo his modern design is green. And I think that's also what his design and his is. His hair's blue. Yeah, his, his hair's blue. Well because it because the modern design for Ludwig is based on his Mario 3 design. His Mario 3 design, he has green he has a green head, green shell, and blue hair. Most of them are based on the Mario 3 design except for Iggy. Let me look at Iggy then. Yeah. Iggy's design, yeah, I think, did change a little bit. Yeah, because, like, Iggy used to have rainbow hair as well. Honestly, yeah, I kind of yeah, like the... Yeah, I see it yeah, now. I like the rainbow hair. Yeah, they yeah, yeah, had it in Super Soul Saga OG. I, I, I put their, uh... Oh, what the hell? Oh, that's right, there's seven of them. I was like, why, why is there eight of them? I remember, I was like, thousands <laughs> Okay. Okay, Ludwig looks weird. Like, his shell is blue. He has the blue top half thing. His hair is white. And then his skin is like this disgusting green. <laughs> green. Okay. Like, his skin is like vomit green. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's just sprite limitations, but it's still kind of funny. And like, Roy is like brown. <laughs> and Roy's brown and then, with like, like pink. Yeah, yeah, hot I pink. pink but that is like the hottest shade of pink I've ever seen. Larry, honestly, okay, my problem with Larry is that like he looks fine in all these games, but I'm so used to the modern design where he's blue, not green. So every yeah. time I see him as green, I'm just like, who the hell are you? Yeah, and then Egg and then Eggie's blue. So like they're they got mixed up. They're yeah, like they, they got the mixed up. yeah, the colors are mixed they really up. Have, they're really color swapped. Yeah, La I was, I say, Larry. Wait, I should Larry just looks like like. Young Bowser. Larry, if you look at Larry and Bowser in Mario 3, because Bowser's there too, Larry just looks like a young Bowser. Also, I'm just noticing, but Iggy is literally just Larry Sprite, but with glasses and tacked on and different hair. Well, <laughs> well that's because, well, again, that's because in Mario World, he, ha he has a glitch that gives him the wrong hairstyle. No, I'm talking about Mario 3. <laughs> no, Mario 3? In Mario 3, <laughs> Iggy is just Larry, but with glasses and different hair. <laughs> I'm also just noticing this. In Mario World, Iggy and Larry, and like not in the Mario Maker version, but in the one, they literally have the same hair. That's what he said, yeah, yeah because it's like that's a glitch. He was actually given Larry's hair instead of Iggy's. Yeah. Like if you look at look just... at right in the credits, he actually has the right hair. Yeah. I just want to say, out of everyone for Mario Three, out of everyone here, Morn looks the most normal. Morn in Mario Three, yeah, I see it. Yeah, he's the most. Wendy is just like red all over. Like, all... When did when did given pink? Because she's got in pink all these skin. old games, in all these old games, she's red. But okay, all right. Here's, I don't lie, red Wendy looks kind of nice. All right, I'm gonna pull yeah, up their Mario U designs because that's the most relevant one. Oh, what the hell? Let me just put like Mario U Koopalings. Oh no, he he's healing Blowjob Jr. Alright here. I got a, a version of him from from just like their stand images. So okay. So yeah no, no, no. Okay, so Larry has the blue mohawk oh, and the blue shell, late. but the top half of his head is still green. Yeah. Ludwig is Ludwig has also a dark blue hair and the green. Morton is Actually, here's a question. When was Morn given the weird star thing? Uh, that might have been New Soup. No, wait, no, that might have been Super Star Saga. Yeah, because uh, like I'm noticing look. now in the old in the in the in the world and the three sprites, Morn doesn't have the star on his head. Well, yeah, because like it's only on one one side of his head, right? Um, let me yeah. see. He's had it since Mario Three, but only in the official oh. artwork. Oh, yeah, because yeah. the sprites, he doesn't have the star. 
Yeah, yeah, I so how I'll, you would give I'll, him the star. Yeah, sprite limitations, I guess. And also, how do you give him the star in Mario World if he's green? Um, That's apparent. Okay, apparently he has it in Mario All Stars. What is Mario All Stars? For the SNES. Uh, that's one of the game. I think that's like a Game Boy release. Oh, all right. Let's see. Okay. Wait, Let was me it game over Boy here. Color or game Boy Advance. Okay. I think it was game Boy Advance, okay. You want you want know the exact game that they gave it to him in? What? Mario Three, specifically the Mario All Stars version. He has like a yellow star on his face, but it's not gray. It's yellow for some reason. Yeah, dude, I'm, at, I'm now just noticing, technically, Morton's head is, the top of his head is white, but then he has the, the black star on, on his uh, left <laughs> you, eye. You, you, wanna know what the, you wanna know what the second game they give him the star is? What? Is it Mario Luigi? <laughs> Yoshi's Safari. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that doesn't, that doesn't count. How many people actually play that game? Okay, you wanna know what the third awesome. game is, then? It's Super Star Saga. Hotel Mario. <laughs> wow. <laughs> actually, wait, 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 here's something else I'm noticing. What? Lemmy's ball. In the old games, Lemmy's ball is like green with uh, the yellow star, but now it's just yellow with like a darker yellow. Like an I orange think it star. was changing out to shell color, wasn't it? Yeah, probably. <laughs> and then, oh, here's another thing, Wendy. So Wendy's like pink now, and her body isn't red, like, like, because in Mario World, she has the same deal with Ludwig, where the top of her head is colored like her shell, even though that's not the case now. It's just. It's just yellow. But now that I'm looking at, Wendy is the only Koopa where the top of her head is also yellow. That's how it works. Whoops, I messed Jake, up dash command. What do you mean with the top of her head are yellow? Aren't normal Koopa Koopas like that too? No, I'm talking about the Koopa. I'm asking. Look, it's like you Iggy, said, you just Lemmy, said Koopas. Fine, Koopaling. Screw you, Koopalings. Because if you look, Iggy, Lemmy, Ludwig, and Larry all have green on the top of their head. And then Morton has white with the star, and Roy has pink. Wendy is the only one with yellow. Oh, she is, I guess. Yes, I know how to do a trampoline guard. Also, and here's a question. When did they give Wendy the, the, the red bead necklace? Because she doesn't have it in 3 or World. Uh, it might it might have been Super Star Saga or Yoshi Safari. <laughs> Yoshi Safari. Jacob, fact check. What should I fact check? When did they give Wendy her uh, necklace, the one with the red beads? Okay, I'll double check after I'm done with this trampoline in guard. Super Saga or not? Yeah, Super Saga. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no Bowser, no paper Bowser Jr. fake out. Okay. Oh come on! What the hell was it? Oh, it put me in the right place anyways. Oh, I'm running out of, uh, running out of BP from Paper Mario. You yeah, actually, here's something else. Does, does, does Iggy have glasses in the in the new games? Because I don't think Iggy has glasses. Oh, I think he just has eyes. No, oh, they're, they're glasses. Really? Because I'm looking at the new soup sprites, and he doesn't. it doesn't look like he's wearing glasses. It just looks like he has really big eyes. I mean, it's either that or they're goggles. <laughs> But I'm pretty sure they're yeah, glasses. They're like glasses. Mm. Also, notice how Iggy is the only one with like really big eyes. Everyone else has just like tiny little dots, and then Iggy's eyes are enormous. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. I mean, Wendy. Doesn't Wendy have big eyes, too? No, yeah. they're. Honestly, uh, they're normal size, I thought. Aside, oh. from, aside from like Morton. And maybe Roy, because I don't think you've ever seen Roy without his sunglasses. Mm -hmm. Ludwig's eyes are uh, really tiny. Now. I'll look at Wendy's then. Yeah, Wendy's got big eyes. Not compared to Iggy or Lemmy. I mean, yeah, Larry. but definitely bigger than the other Koopalings. Compared to the rest of the Koopalings, yeah. Why well, did we start talking about this? Why did we just start talking <laughs> about the Koopaling designs? <laughs> I don't know. It's something to talk about. So, uh, so you're talking. Know. So you're talking about Wendy. Know. So you're talking about Wendy's necklace. Yeah. When did she get the red bead? Because if you look at, she's had the... that since March. Her Mario 3 artwork. Hold on, I'll be right back. When you say Mario 3, are we talking about like like the first Mario 3 or or advanced Mario 3? Yeah, the original Mario 3 artwork. She has her red necklace. So like the Koopaling designs really haven't changed that much over the years, with a few exceptions. Yeah. Yeah, I, except Mario World. 
Like the only I, the only I, thing that I, really I changed is that wrong. they they made the Koopalings more yellow instead of orange. That's the only really big difference. And and I guess Iggy he having green hair instead of the rainbow, but yeah, and Lemmy too. Lemmy got like a different hair too. I think. Let me check. Let me, uh... Well, not really. Oh, yeah, I think I think Lemmy also used to have the rainbow hair, but now he ha has green and yellow, I think. Okay, no, Lemmy, Lemmy still has the same hair. It's just, it looks a little... It's not like... It's a, it's a little less rainbow. Like, he has yellow, pink, and blue hair. But in the, ori in the original game, he has, like, all... It's, like, all rainbow. Because he, he's, got he's got a bit of green and purple in there, I think, too. So it's like slightly different, but otherwise, yeah, mostly the same. Okay. All right, let's start attacking Blowjob Junior. You're already at the Junior fight. Yeah, I've just been kind of stalling. To let you guys catch up. That's fair. that's fair. I'm kind of skipping enemies, kind of not. Okay, I guess we're not gonna skip this one. <laughs> oh, wait, it's, sh it's shiny. Oh, yeah, shinies. Oof, this damage output is insane. Doing like 250 a turn. Oh, holy shit. You just one shot Mario. Holy shit, dude. And I just have to figure out how to kill the Bowser Juniors in one turn. Uh... Oh, that's a good question. I don't know. Oh, maybe maybe with the trio attack. Oh, no. He hit me. Yeah, I can hear you. Which okay. Wrong, wrong bro. <laughs> Which one? Paper Mario's getting wrecked. Damn, boy. That's crazy. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. I think I can actually just end this fight right now. <laughs> I don't have to do a trio attack. Wait, what fight are you doing? I'm doing the blowjob junior fight. The blowjob? Oh yeah. my god. That is big. Wait, no, I didn't say that. Yeah, he, he he's dead. He's actually dead. <laughs> God, he's trash. Grr. Alright, what did they drop? Oh, I should have used the double experience card. Shit. God damn it, Jacob. Yeah, you had one job. Alright, we got Iron Ball oh, Hammer and knock, Knockout Draw Gloves. Those sound fine, don't they? Huh. Those sound right. Huh. If they, if they... One, shot, one shot through his fucking coffees. Oh, fuck this. <laughs> fuck this. <laughs> wait, wait who are you- who are you fighting now? No, 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 no. A shiny paper dry bones. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, that's what- okay, that makes sense. Yo, is that that or what? Hey, is it the funny British man? Yeah, it's Yo, the funny hi, British it's man. <laughs> yeah, it's me. Ha ha, ha ha. He's better than the I funny black man. Well, I love I love this random sad moment. The Bowser Jr. thinks they're gonna die. Do they die? I forget. Do they die in this game? Well, they don't show up for the rest of the game, so I'll leave that. <laughs> Junior. I'll leave that to your interpretation. Here's the problem with that. Not only do they not show up for the rest of the game, but they also just don't explode after you beat them. So it's literally left up to your interpretation whether they <laughs> die. What did you do to my leave. son? Uh, sir, your son tried to assault me, so. Uh, Equal rights, wait, equal, equal fights. Oh, wait, also oh, did wait, it. I, I, okay. oh here, here's I here's the epic that. part of the game. All right, well, I'm kind of I I kind of to where I have to go, so I'm gonna head out and I'll talk to you all later. Oh damn, that was okay. fast. What? <laughs> really? I, yeah. <laughs> Guess we're gonna have another catch up episode. <laughs> Bro, you told me. I just we agreed. Bad.
Jake, what are you talking about? We agreed that we would get to beating the thingy. The paper craft? Yes, and then I'd call it a day. That's what, so what, that's what I did. Okay, well, I think Aaron could at least... I, I, th I think Aaron can beat the, the paper Bowser... I think you could beat Bowser Jr., right? Well, I, I'm doing the, I'm doing the Shy Guy minigame. Okay. Well, I'll let I'll let Seb catch up off screen. He can beat like, I'll you know it doesn't really matter how long he plays for because I can but, easily catch uh, up to him. Speaking of which, when did you guys stop? An hour ago. Okay. Oh, I the, the wind. Oh, here's the Starlo teeth cut scene. <laughs> Oh, I know. Oh, that I'm one. sorry, Starlow Teeth? Yeah. Jesus also, Christ. Also, Paper Peach yeah. looks way too happy. <laughs> you have really great teeth. Cody has a teeth fetish confirmed. Cody's the Tooth Fairy, apparently. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, <no. laughs> tooth Fairy. Yeah, true. Yes. They really are nice. Wow. Oh god, the where's the world? Oh, never mind, we're fine. But I didn't realize it's all past two in the morning. Wow. That's crazy. You know what I'll stay up with it? Huh. Where do we go after this? Can I not jump in? Okay, there we go. Oh god, where's How the world? How is that a fucking jump? Ooh! Ooh. Oh, are you kidding me? Damn, ba Bowser Jun Bowser's literally a terrorist now. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he was always a terrorist. <laughs> I mean, he's he, he has a flowing he has a floating castle and he's shooting like cannons at her castle. Wow, I didn't know. <laughs> oh, oh, what the hell? Oh, rip rip her castle. Invasion! Oh no! Damn, damn the cat, the ca castle just got actually fucked. Oh wow! Whoa. Don't worry, it'll stay like that for the rest of the game. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> oh my god, I love this goomba. He's just watching. Well, why does that do so much damage? Oh. Ah, oh, fuck it. Fuck it. Trio racket. I am I not. Guess. I am not healed at all. What the fuck? This game, that's that's weird. This game doesn't heal you after boss battles. I'm pretty sure most Mario and Luigi games don't. Yeah. Oh, I didn't. Oh, I didn't, I didn't need to use my mushroom. No. There's a heart block right there. I don't know. I'm used. I'm used to mo. I'm used to. Maybe I'm used to Mario RPG because Mario RPG heals you after every boss. I think, I think it's just Mario RPG and maybe and maybe TTYD because you get level ups. Ah. Uh. Okay, Mario's level twenty five. Nice 3D right, cool. ball. Alright, cool. Toadette is safe. For now. <laughs> For now. Oh, yeah. So we have to go back to Mount Burr now. Yeah! We got Trio Shuriken! Let's go. Is it any good? Yes! I, I'm never really that good at it. Dude, it's so easy once you learn how to do it. Like, I actually think it's easier than Trio Whirligig. And Trio Racket. <laughs> Wait, which one? The Trio which Shuriken. One? Yeah. Oh. Get I, out of the way, Toad. I I do like that one. I'm just I don't know why. I don't know how, but I'm absolute trash at it. Rip. Shuriken or or uh... Shuriken. Shuriken's I, easy, I don't dude. Know why. Yeah, I know. I yeah, that's why I said I don't know why. Celebrity I boots. Oh, well, actually, let me look at my equipment real quick. I, I sometimes do shuriken if I 
think I got the guts. It's like the best one for, um... It literally you... is. I'm not even joking. But it's so, like... I think the easier ones are the worst ones. Like, for example... Uh... Should have been using Wonder this. Should have, been using, should, should have been using something else for the boss the fight. Like with the racket, that's like one of the easier ones, if you think about it. But it's like, not, you know... Mm, oh, iron, iron Ball Hammer DX. Sure. Mm, yeah, that's fine. And on Mario, we have... The, the Bros Boots. Yeah, I don't have any better. I don't even have any better boots. Well, wow. Paper Mario. Be the a better name. Yeah, I have the shocking boots, but I think the bundling boots are still better. Oh, I'm not gonna say the joke. Oh wait, you're still here. Never mind. Well, wow, that's very shocking. <laughs> mm -mm. You're awful. Knockout. You're, you're both awful. Knockout draw cards. Uh, God damn you too. Jesus Let's Christ. See. Deal one oh, extra man. card if you have at least two cards left over when you beat an enemy. That's extremely situational. <laughs> I don't think I want any of this stuff. Okay, what about what kind of cards can I buy now? Welcome to the card shop. Do you have anything good? You have um Uh, let's see. Hmm. Nothing really that amazing. So I'll just buy a bunch of cards to say I have them. Really? You're not gonna save your money? I mean, you get, you get like a few challenges for having extra cards in your inventory, I think. So I'll just buy all the really cheap ones. Like the ones okay. under, uh... A thousand. <laughs> Take a small number of your coins for star points. Yeah, that's, ah, shit. that's interesting. Because, yeah, uh, there's a thing that Paper Mario can wear. It says, like, increases your damage based on how many cards you have. I mean, kind of like that. <laughs> I think the challenge wear and it's the challenge wear and it increases defense. So oh, defense. Not too useful. <laughs> Lowers Bowser and Bowser Jr.'s levels by, by yeah, five. Yeah, no, that's. All right, let's sell that. Let's sell the anti-air boots. I think boots. it also works on dry Bowser, but I'm not sure. Um, it might. I know the the hit shelled enemies does um extra damage to him. I don't need the shotgun hammer. Sense. Uh, don't eat the cozy aware. That's useless now. I'll keep the knockout draw gloves. Counter belt. I probably don't need that. Increases speed whenever you make a copy. I'll keep them just because. And I'm gonna buy more refreshing herbs because I am out. By like ten of them, and I can also buy more boo biscuits while I'm here, because you know how much I love boo biscuits. Mm. Other than that, I don't really think I need to buy any items. And we'll get some more equipment, so we can get celebrity boots. Okay, celebrity. so can the boomerang cards like infinitely spawn more? Um, they can spawn up to eight boomerang bros. Okay, because I, I I'm in an encounter with four paper ones. Two of them have two of them have a, a thing, and there's also two more regular boomerang bros. Yeah, as far as I know, there can be up to ten of them. All right, let's see. Snare aware increases gives me ten pow and twenty speed, but lowers my defense by thirty six. You know what? I'm getting it because I like speed and pow in this game. Singular boots? Nah. And I guess I can get the celebrity hammer for Mario. Sure. And I'm not getting the HP scarf. Alright, let's see. I have Oh, I have enough points for the trio ring. Dude, oh, let's nice. Go. Finally. 
And I have 15 expert points left. Wow. Oh shit, you know, I should sell my equipment now. Alright, um... Okay, we don't need the shocking boots. We don't need the blunt hammer. I don't need the fancy wear. Or the payback fancy. wear. <laughs> fancy wear. You know, I'm gonna get rid of the counter charge gloves and the knockout draw gloves. I don't think I'll need those. I'm gonna get rid of the rally belt. Oh, I'm gonna get rid of the pow oh. the pow mush jams. Oh yeah, I managed I think to I uh, sold that. I managed to change my uh what's it called? The theme. So like I can see colors now. You I'm can crazy. see colors. Yeah. Crazy news. Yeah, like crazy. on the floor, it was just like it was just the icons and the no background color at all. Now it can be like for mine it's like white. Can it's I go like in here white. yet? I thought it was black. <laughs> Their voice okay, coming from the other okay, side. Okay, uh, I'm I think I'm about to go to the boss room. Nice. You did the Bowser Jr. minigame already? No. Oh, okay. I have not. I just need to do that. Yeah, you gotta do that, then you fight the Bowser Juniors. Well, in that case, I have some time to kill, so I might go do a mini game or something. Have you done the expert challenges for the Tanookis? Yeah, I did that. Let me look. Actually, yeah, this is gonna be a good time to look at my expert challenges. Like, what do we have left? Oh, uh, well, obviously, we have expert trio shuriken, which will be honestly pretty easy to get. Um. And then I need the rest of the bros moves. I have 79% of the dodges. It's oh yeah. Bad. Oh yeah, I need to I need to defeat 400 enemies with counterattacks. What am I missing? I need um Does it show your prog progress on all of them? Yeah, it does. I have 335 out of 400. That's not bad. I'll probably get that by the end of the game. Still need the paper sombrero guy dodge. That one I'm gonna be procrastinating on probably. No, no, go, go and do it. <laughs> go do it. Maybe. Well, and then the only other thing left, like, there's not actually very many new enemies by this point. Like, there's like paper paragoomba, shy guys, chain chomps, mecha koopas. And like a few other enemies. There's not really that many new enemies. Like most of the enemies we're gonna be seeing from this point on are gonna be repeats. True. Sure. Aside from Neo Bowser Castle, at least. Yeah. Uh, I still need the wild card um, achievement. What the hell is that? Use te use ten different types of cards in a single battle. Wait no. E Wait no, that's not it. No, not a that is it. Use 10 battle cards with different effects in a single battle. It's only 7 out of 10 for me, so I need more variety. Defeat 8 or more enemies okay. at once with a battle card. That I also have to do. Um, collect 30,000 coins. I have 21,000 so far, so that one I'll get eventually. Start 100 battles with an advantage. I have 97. Okay. Um, defeat 50 shiny enemies. That one I might have to grind for, because I've only seen 16. Defeat a boss without any gear. Defeat 15 enemies with a single attack. Uh, you, does the bo boss ring count? Yeah, the, bo the, boss boss ring, gear. the boss ring counts. So you could just fight, li like, PD Piranha or something. Yeah. Um... Get an S rank on the big pokey duo, and the rest of these are just for the bosses in the battle ring. Okay. Oh, and I also need Trio Shuriken in the Attackathon and Whirligig in the Attackathon. Okay, I might do that, honestly. Well, you just got sh Shuriken, so... Yeah, but I know how to do Shuriken, because uh, I've been practicing on my actual copy of Paper Jam on 3DS. Is it any- is it, is it a harder on- on emulator? No. <laughs> it's pretty easy. Alright, time to fight Paper Paragoombas. Okay, I keep getting spotted by the second Mecha Koopa, though. For some reason. 
Oh. <laughs> Alright. Boo biscuit time. Oh, Paper Mario doesn't have any BP still. Shit. Oh, this should be this should be pretty easy. Oh, oh, what the hell? Oh, you're a bit you're a big troll, aren't you? Oh, you have to jump on them to stop the attack. Okay. Good to know. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. You know what? Sure, I'll I'll, I'll increase my coins by fifty percent. These, uh, these paper paragumas are level 27. Damn, they're higher level than me. Gotcha. Alright, I... Alright, I got, I got junior number one. Nice. Where did he go? Where the fuck did he go? Wait, Jacob, what level were you again? Um... 26, I think? Oh. Well, there we go, I got it already. Paper paraguma dodge. Alright, let's do... Oh. Let's do the double experience and coins card. Wait, there's one for both of them? Yeah. I think that's in the card shop. Um... Let's give, um... Let's give a max candy to Paper Mario, because <laughs> why the hell not? Oh. What? So it only- you have to actually attack them for it to affect it? Okay, good to know. So I just wasted that card then. Oh, I can I can just kill them with fucking bomb derby. <laughs> okay. Ooh, shuffles all battle cards. Uh, that's, depends if you like- if you have- a lot of cards which are like the same. It oh, could it's be. a different story. Okay, cool. Yeah, like, fix up my decks it's then. Cards. It's like it's uh, you know. I'll put that in instead. It's just pretty interesting. Only one of the more underrated cards, by the way. Good card. It only costs two. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now that I think about it, that's actually good. Alright, let, let me save before this boss, because it's going to be annoying as fuck. My, 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 all my boys are level 25, so... Mm, mine are... Oh, mine are 28. How much HP <laughs> do the Bowser Juniors have? Um, I want to say like a thousand each. Sounds about right. They might have less, though. They might have, like, 900 or something, though. Man, this this Tekken music fits really well for the Sunbeam planes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, which one is it? I, ha it? I have, um... I have Moonsiders first over the <laughs> Sunbeam planes. And it fits yeah, so it well. Sense. Love it. Alright, let me try out, um, let me do some of the attackathon. Even though I hate attackathon, but fuck it, I'll do it anyways. Let's try out, um, let's try out Trio Whirligig. I need 3,000 points. Okay. Well, I'm doing the Whirligig right now. Yeah, but this time I gotta get flowers, stars, and mushrooms. So can you miss? Are you are you able to miss oh, yeah, any or what? Let's see. I forgot what music it was, and I just remembered what music. It was. Oh, okay. You gotta like you gotta like dodge um. You gotta dodge like hurricanes or something. Interesting. Ooh, that's pretty satisfying actually. 
Oh, there's they have fire bars? That's funny. I gotta like this this is kinda fun actually, I like this. No, this one I could actually probably do without save states. I can, I can just get points by spamming the Y button. <laughs> oh. oh, okay, if you miss one, you, you get a penalty. You know what, Jacob? I completely forgot that we did you know what today. We did what? You know what we did you today. Like, like, like a Henry? Yeah, I thought we did that. Like, I didn't I didn't think we did that today for some reason. Oh. We would. Probably because it's like nearly 3 a.m. for me, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, I it. question why you're still up, honestly. Uh -oh. Oh, I, I question myself too. Oh, okay, so they're both going after Mario. Yeah, Mario's just like a target. Like a target on a on space, yeah. Ooh. Oof, almost missed that one. Don't know why they always go for more, to be honest. Stop. Well, I got two thousand at least. Two thousand points. Fun. I love this. Ooh, they're getting real fast now. Oh, jeez. Ooh, there we go. Made it past 50 meters. 57? Okay, that's not bad. About to get it here. Oh, just need a little bit more. I'll do. I'll do one more. I'll do it one more time then. I don't think I've ever seen this attack before. Mm, which attack? <laughs> oh, it's the fucking trampoline. Oh, but yeah, the trampoline one's pretty free, honestly. Except for the tutorial. That part isn't free. Alright, I got 3,000 points first try in the world of gig. Nice. World of gig A rating. World of gig S rating. Nice. Alright, let's try Trio Shuriken. This one should be even more free, because Shuriken is like the easiest trio attack in the game <laughs> to do. Oh, there we go. So, yeah. Oh, 132, damn. It's gonna be downright brain dead, honestly. Oh, they don't lock on, interesting. Well, it'd be nice if he didn't lag a game. I like that. That's fun. Yeah, see, I think the thing about this one, that's it's more forgiving than the, um... Oops. It's more forgiving than the, um... Like, tra ra racket one, because you can actually, you're actually allowed to miss. Boom. Okay, boom. Alright, let's see how much damage you do. Mm. And also, it doesn't take, like, fucking five years to do it. 118, 174, okay, pretty good. 
I don't even know how you get X's on this one, just by laying them touch the ground or something. Wait, what do you mean? X's on the ground? What? Oh, you can even freeze time? Wow. <laughs> this is like the most- The world, uh... This is the most free minigame ever. <laughs> Like, this might be the easiest one to get 3,000 on. I know there's one for, um... What's it called? There's one for... The... Megathwonk later, and Toad Trail, I think. But I've actually gotten kind of good at Toad Trail, so... I don't mind. Oops. What is happening? Oh no, I'm, co I'm cocking it up now. Shit. So, can I get them in their drop chopper? No, I fucked up! Wow, if you miss like one of them, then it just becomes a chain reaction that you constantly fuck up. Wow, that one, that one was not free, oh, actually. Oh, okay. Like, I was getting, like, my button presses mixed up. That's what was happening. Okay, you know what? Let's, fi let's finish them off with Trio Kite. Nice. I wonder if the lock-on is only if you have assist turned on. <laughs> I don't know, that, no. that, that could be possible. I'm not a pussy. <laughs> no, boom. There we go. You can hit it, okay. Alright, there we go, first try. Not too bad. Yeah, the Bowser Jr. fight's not that bad, honestly. Iron Ball Hammer to Knock, Knockout Club. Item 3 Victory. Okay. Oh, missed the Bowser Jr. again. And the level, and I get, get Wank, Wank Up, but. Oh no, I'm one away from Wank Up. <laughs> Plus okay. 80 for the Luigi. Lily Peach, Lily Peaches, you were waiting behind the door the entire time. Peaches, 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 Peaches. Also, guys, yeah. I can't oh. believe you guys are the, the, the game. That doesn't count as me missing, though, so that's good. I don't care. Do I want to get the Bowser? Probably not. No choice. I'm assuming not. I didn't get a penalty for, um... For hitting, for missing the Bowser, so yeah. A penalty? What do you mean by a penalty? I didn't get an X. Oh, one miss. Nab it? No, I didn't get Nab it, that's okay. Shiny Bowser? <laughs> They fly now. They fly now. <laughs> okay. Ooh, got, you get plus two hundred for blowjob junior, nice. I like how there's just randomly Luigi ones in here as well. <laughs> Luigi stickers. And they give 80. <laughs> oh, I got 3,000. Let's go. So how far are you guys going for today? 
Uh, he's he's gonna. He, what happens? We'll see what happens when I get the Bowser. Oh, you get an X if you hit Bowser. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Okay, so like I'm gonna check out the the, the shop and then call it a day. All right, that's space. Uh, I'm watching. I'm watching. I'm watching. I'm watching them fly. They fly now. <laughs> what do you mean? Wait, J nice. Jacob, what what battle are you in right now? I got the S ranking on the trio shuriken. Oh, nice. Nice. So yeah, now it's just mega. Th Wait. Oh, there's three more. I think trio meteor might be in here too. I could be wrong though. Do you even have trio meteor? No, not yet. <laughs> That's not until later. But I know this. I know Mega Thwomp and Toad Trail is on here, but I don't know what the other one is. Is Mega Thwomp even any good? I never played the game with it. Yeah, Mega Thwomp's good. It's one of Luigi's better bros attacks. And uh, I guess I'll attempt I mean, drop to. Drop also pretty good. Let me attempt. Um... I never beat Petey Paper Petey. <laughs> Oh yeah, you might be high enough level for that. Oh wait, no, I'm stupid. I forgot to set my correct cards. Hold on. You never be good. I'll fight. I'll fight a few. I'll fight a few of the super bosses and then I'll call it a day. Okay. Yeah, let me end the I'll battle. I'll leave now, but I guess I'll leave. Uh, soon as y'all leave. That's fine. I think Peach's castle is bigger, bigger on the in inside than it is on the outside. Oh, I do have like the crack. Like I do have the crack card set. <laughs> I'm so glad that you start with ten star points, though. Mm -hmm. That makes this fight a lot more bearable. Oh, cool. I might have to practice that actually. It's pretty easy, honestly. Ooh, plus twenty-five pow. Yeah, I'll go with that. Alright, let me check out the shop then. Come on, fucking lag, dude. I think I need to actually stock up on healing items. I'm like, actually glad I beat the, the juniors without healing items, but... That's yeah, I, I totally need to stock up on them. So, I'll, 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 I'll buy, yes. I'll buy some gear, that, then some cards that... Oh yeah, let, let, let me equip the new gear from beating the Bowser Juniors. <laughs> Can't believe the game fucking lag in the middle of my bomb derby. It's so annoying. <laughs> uh. Okay, let's go with singular boots. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, we know where the real PD is now, at least. Real PT. Raises damage by 50% for a limited time. Hell yeah. Oh wow, that's good. I got draw gloves. Ooh, that trio sure can graph it. It's kind of cool. Okay, honestly, the trio sure not good for this boss, though, because it attacks all the copies, too. Should yeah, use you kite instead. Yeah, I, th I think you might need kite. Yeah. Yeah. To be honest, yeah, that is the strategy action. I mean, Two hundred sixteen damage. You know, trio kite isn't that strong. You know, I, you know. I mean, it's what I use to, to kill Bowser Junior. So. <laughs> oh, nice! I got excellent trio shuriken now. Alright, let's do Rocket Blast. I mean, I'm pretty like, sure Paper PD only has like think. 800 or something. Yeah. Oh my god, he's gonna be so dead. <laughs> that alone did 436 damage. I gotta deal with the stupid, um, the stupid rage attack that I can never seem to do. So 
especially because that happens. I still die for- well, actually, to be fair, I did do the 50% attack increase thing. Yeah, that makes sense. I could get the master gloves. I could get the master gloves right now, but I kind of want to save up for trio ring. Trio ring is really good, but master gloves are also great. Okay, good. He's not doing the rage attack now. Uh. Damn. All right, let's do raise damage by twenty-five percent then. I can never figure out if it stacks or not. I don't think it does, though. Three twenty-one. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Lower defense too by twenty percent. All right, rocket uh, bomb derby is gonna be carrying this part. Snare wear? Yeah, I like the snare wear. Why didn't you attack any of the other- Why didn't you attack the Paper PD that was supposed to be attacked? Oops. No, Mario! God damn it. It's, it's kind of hard to tell where the shadow was. Did he scarf the locks? DP Scarf Deluxe. This fight's still pretty annoying, even when I'm level the actual intended level for it. <laughs> Energy wear? Whoa, okay, that's. Oh, he's dead. He's fucking dead, that was easy. I probably get like an. I probably don't get an S rating on it, though. At least not yet. I got an A, that's fine. Yo, Jacob, you should, you should get an S if you want. Later, I'll get an <laughs> S. Alright, let's try out... Mm. Do I even dare do the Bowser... The Bowser Jr. duo is, like, not feasible right now. They're level 39. Oh my god! Damn! I mean, I could try. What level are you? Uh, 28. That's like... Uh, what's, what's wow. the new? What are the extras you have on Mario? Extras? Like what? The upgrades I got? No, no like the, the equipment. Yeah, like the not, extra not equipment. Like the, not like the gloves or the... Like the or the... Put or the on. gear, but the other things. Well, like the like, accessory? I have... I have yeah, the accessories. I have the healthy wing on Luigi and the mix badge on Mario, but I not have sure I have the mix badge on Mario, and I think I ha I don't remember what I have on Luigi. I think I might have like a POW scarf or something. I don't remember. Wow, something like that. I mean, the Master Gloves are just so good, because I can just do bros attacks for free. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, and the bros, the bros um, boots on the lead here are also great, because he gets BP whenever he attacks. Winning distance 65, yeah. I mean, I did put the celebrity boots on Luigi, but... Eh. Yeah, that's not too, too much of a power decrease. So, you know, the Bowser Jr. fight is a case where, yeah, doing spread... Oh. Wow, I actually fucked that up. Doing spread damage is actually the way to go. Because they're basically the elite trio slash MNL memory of this game. Very much. 
Also, weird, the defense down didn't work on them. Oh, Ultra Nuts. Ultra, ultra Nuts. Yeah. Okay, let's go. To be honest, this fight oh may my, be impossible. Because I honestly have no idea if I'll be able to kill the Bowser Juniors in one turn if when they start reviving each other. I don't I don't know how how much health they revive each other with though. Hmm. Guess I'll find out. See if I can do this without getting hit. Good luck. I'm gonna try. All right, cool. I think I got enough items did. for now. That was the that was the first time I did that attack without getting hit. That's good. You know, let me just double check how much. Let me check how much health the Bowser Juniors have, real quick. I don't, I don't know. I just, I just geared up and shit, so I think I'm, I'm good oh, for now. You big monkey. Oh shit, they have 1,700 in the battle ring? That's fucking crazy. Yeah. It's gonna take a while to kill them, then. Especially if I'm only doing, like, a couple well, hundred a turn. Doing, doing two of them. I, so. can do, I can do 120 with a rocket blast. It's not bad. I think it's actually around what I was doing. Okay, yeah, now I see other people links as on. What does look does look weird with the yellow skin, but Oh yeah. Fifty percent extra damage for a limited time. Let's go. If I die I mean, in this they, fight, then I'll just. Like, you know. They made, made Wendy's lips a bit bigger in in Mario Maker. <laughs> Yo, that's a, that's a random uh, thing to to, to, to to talk about. Yo, old, dude. Like, I kind of prefer we didn't have like a card that like Dream Team did. Yeah, I wish it did. Yo. I'd play that. Yo, just going. All right, now Trio Shuriken's gonna do a lot more damage. Bruh. Wait, am I muted? Yes, you're mean, muted. I heard oh, I just said EJ was here. That's what I said. Now he's here. He's just muted. Yep, as usual. He's just muted. Okay. Each of. You know what? This gives me a chance to get the expert uh, trio shuriken as well. How much did that do? Let's see. 175. Okay, not bad. I get to show off my oh, good, practice good, good skills. Good fucking luck, Luke. You, you're gonna pay it. We did luck with a what? Uh, he says he's gonna be playing Toho 6 tomorrow. Oh, bet. Oh, yeah, yeah. I would love to watch that. <laughs> oh, god, damn. Oh, god. <laughs> Does he take the extra damage from the rocket blast or not? Because, like. The, rock the rocket itself doesn't do any damage, but the jumps do, like, a couple hundred each, so. Or a lot, yeah. Well, you're out dam damaging me, me when I I did this fight. That's because I have the that's because I have the 50% extra attack th uh, card active. Ah, uh, yeah, that would do it. I did I did buy I did buy that card from. Uh, I might Whoops. still need to put it in my deck. You know what? Let's activate this card too. <laughs> yeah. 
Alright. Drill Shell. I still think the drop, drop, drop are out there with this but... I will give it a try. 236 with Drill Shell. I'll try That's Drop Chopper on Bowser Jr. I did like 200, 299 to Paper Ghost Jr. Oh, nice. It, it, actually, killed, it actually killed him. Th Z then I finished up the normal one with the Trio Kite. I think it was Drop Chopper to kill him. Oh, shit. He, he could actually fucking glide. In the rematch, yeah. <laughs> Like I, I got, I got fifty-seven. Oh. oh. Okay. Let's do a rocket blast then. Kind of sucks how he doesn't steal your fucking attacks like Dream Ten though. <laughs> yeah. Oh my fine. god. Two forty-nine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Check out what drop chopper does. Yeah, I'll test that out in a sec. Anyways, here's how you do uh, trio shuriken. Oh, okay. Oh, so it, like it kind of automatically locks on if you get close enough. That's good to know. Yeah, it locks on. It doesn't do that in the mini game version though, which is what kind of threw me off. And this is with assist off, so it, it locks on regardless. Oh, that's even better. And you do a shit ton of damage if you let them all line up. Yeah. And does uh like 170. Oh. Okay, you're healing. Now here's this attack. Hey, you both hit Mario. I did a hundred. The counter attack damage is real. Alright, let's try Drop Chopper. Let's see how much it does. Cause I know because Drill Shell did like 270 or something crazy. So let's see how much Drop Chopper does. I think I did around 250 to the vanilla ones. Although I think I I, I, I might have had like the damage up but, like only 239, yeah, Drill Shell's better. Really? Yeah. Then again, then again, I'm not better at matching. It might, it might have been all those lucky hits too. Hmm. Let's go. I'm bound to fuck this up eventually. I love how they throw the fucking signs at you. <laughs> no, no, he's still bad at flying. Almost got a hundred. I forget. I think. I think on on real hardware, I've gotten to like 120. Mm -hmm. Crazy. Sure like that. Oh, he's dead. I might actually be able to win this. Hold on. Let me uh. Let me do this real quick. Shuffles all battle cards. Do that. Yeah. I think you want to get get some better <laughs> shit. Nice. I got the I got the 50 percent one now. Wait, that's 25. Okay. They stack? I don't know if they stack. But damn it, I'll try. Yeah, because now I have a shit ton of- now I, have, now I have a shit ton of OP battle cards and, like, gear. So, this battle is gonna be a lot- this, this battle is way easier. Let's go there. Okay, he hasn't revived yet though, so that's good. I don't think he actually revives until his turn though. Yeah, I'm just glad he hasn't had his turn. It's, it's, it, he, 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 just go fast. You know what? You know what? It kind of reminds me of Schrauser, where he's like, "Well, guess what? It's not gonna be your turn ever." <laughs> no, I thought you meant Schrauser as in Shrek and Bowser Fuse. No. Oh, I almost, I almost thought of Shrek too. <laughs> yeah. I mean, because I mean, like I actually have him over over again, go up in Smash Bros. Nice. So, Me too. 
Good you have Lord, good you have Lord Farquaad over the next skin. Oh god. Fucking Lord Farquaad, that's great. Yes, there is Lord Farquaad. 89. Got, oh, wait, 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 he's dead. Wait, he's dead, I win. I won first try. That was a major blow up moment. That is a blow Expert trio shuriken, too. Nice, that's a great note to end the episode on. Yo, I got an S rank? What the fuck? What the? But it was first try. Is it because I didn't get hit? Yeah, yeah, did you, yeah did I you did. Get, yeah, I did. I got hit twice. That's it. And I got an oh, S rang for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, that's awesome. That means I don't have to do that anymore. Yo, I got, no. an, I got an S rank Bowser Jr. No. for S rank Big Bulky. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. I guess you should try that. Now. I just need to get. Yeah, you know. I'll, I'll do that. Uh, I'll do that next episode if I have time. But anyways, guys, that was a great episode of Paper Jam. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll have to indeed. I'll have to force Seb to catch up on the weekend since you're not gonna be here. I can just make him do it on Friday. No, I'm, I'm leaving for vacation Friday, uh, so I won't I won't I won't be here this Friday or all of next week. Yeah, so that what I can do then is I can force Seb to catch up on Friday instead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whatever works. And then uh, I don't know what I'll do until you're back, so we'll have to figure out something. I don't know. Do do, do random shit. I don't know. Probably. Maybe I'll have time to play Neptunia. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Well, I will see you guys. Um, I don't know when I'll see you guys, but either way, I am going to probably play Neptunia in like an hour. And then, um, okay. yeah, that's going to be my new series. And uh, hopefully I can get your guys' footage <laughs> before y'all leave then. Well, my, mine is already already done with my thing, so I can upload All right. it. All right. I'll, I'll, bug, I'll bug Seb about it then. If he doesn't, yeah, if he doesn't get it to me by Friday, I'll just bug him to give it before he he catches up. Then. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, you Whatever guys, works. you guys have a good night. I'll see ya. Thanks. Bye. See ya. Went to go jack off. All right, guys. Well, make sure to like and subscribe to me on YouTube and Twitch as always. And yeah, I'm gonna go like get a quick bite to eat, and then I'm going to start Neptunia probably in like an hour, and that'll be fun. So see you guys then.